Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to do something pretty cool, I think. We're going to be changing our public IP address every three to five seconds, and so you can stay anonymous on the internet. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's get into it and have some fun. Alrighty then folks, here we are on the desktop. And also I wanna mention St. Patty's Day this week and hopefully everyone had a good weekend and happy St. Patrick's Day or happy St. Me Day, I don't know. But no, I'm just kidding. So hopefully you guys uh, had some fun or enjoyed yourselves. So the first thing we're gonna do is go out to the internet and download an application and get the repository. We can copy that and onto our machine. You could do it on Kali, whatever machine you um, you wanna bring this to, but I wanna do it to Kali. And I'm just gonna do an LS really quick, and I wanna go to my tools where I put everything in. Okay, so I wanna throw it in here just because I like to be a little organized whenever I can. All right, so let me make sure I remember the tool name. I think I do. It might be in my history, but if not, I have it written down. So it's GR33. Gunner, I think it's like Gunner uh, 37 IP changer, something like that. Yeah, so or greener, I don't know. However, but it's a pretty cool tool. I was like tinkering around with this this week with a couple of friends, and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And obviously, it does not Arch does not support, so you can't use it on Arch. So, but we're, gonna, we're using it on Kali, so it's pretty, pretty cool, right? So it's just a batch script that uses the Tor to change your IP, right? So you can say, okay, I wanna do it every five seconds and you know, type zero for infin uh, infinite IP changes. So that's what I did, I tested it out, and I even sent email, like I did some testing, um, you know, send emails out, make sure my headers were anonymous and all that good stuff, so yeah. So let's just get to let's just get to business. So we can just actually just copy this down here, or you can just come up here, get the code, go to HTTPS, and then copy this as well, and then come back to the terminal. Let's go back to the terminal and just paste it. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this. Whoops. Let's just go ahead here. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's do this. Uh, all right, there we go. So a little pseudo action. All right, so now let's go ahead and CD into there. All right, so now we have this IP changer. So technically, we can just do pseudo slash uh, IP changer. And let's see, obviously, please install curl or tour manually. Install, all right. I thought I already had this installed, so let's just see. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so let's. Uh, interesting. I thought I already had Tor installed, so let's just do sudo apt install Tor. Yes. All right, so let's just do this. I thought I already had it installed on this machine, but if you don't, this is the steps. Here we go. So let's see if that works. And let's hit the up arrow a few times and see if this works now. There it goes. So you need Tor browser. I guess I already had Tor on my other VM that I was using this, so that's my apologies. So once you install Tor, you can run that command again, and now we can go ahead and enter the time. So I'm just gonna do it exactly how they did it in the example, so I'm gonna do every five seconds. So. I'll make this video <laughs> headline, how to change your IP every five seconds or something. Okay, so now we're gonna enter the times that you want the IP address, how many you how many IPs you want change. I'm just gonna say zero, okay? And now it's gonna go ahead and start its thing. So let this thing cook. What we're gonna do is come over to our browser now. Now we're gonna have to change some settings in our browser in order for this to reflect. Okay, so in my case, I'm using, you know, Firefox. So I want to go to this little hamburger on the right hand side, go to settings. And let me see if I can make this a little bigger. And all the way at the bottom, we have network settings. Okay, 
So in network settings, let's click on settings. Right now, my proxy settings are use system proxy settings. I want to go ahead and do it manually. Okay. So if I'm doing it manually, I have to I, uh, put in an IP address, right? So we're going to do SOX host 127001. And then my port is going to be 9050. This is for the tour, right? And there is a few little, make sure you're um, SOX v5. And let's go ahead and proxy DNS while using SOX 5 as well, okay? Obviously, like I said, I had all this stuff set up on my, on my other machine. So this is, uh, this is some steps that you need to do, okay? So now this is all set up and let's go ahead and see all right, it's changing my IP address here, right? It's reloading. So now what we can do is just go out to, for an example, ifconfig.io. And we can see here, and we can also like see what's country, TI. I'm not sure what TI is, to be honest. And, or we can go to, I think it's uh, DNS leaks, or DNS leakage or something, leak. Uh, Let's just do leak. Maybe it'll bring me to it. Uh, DNS leak test. Okay. So this is another one that uh, I've used. So it's Austria. So we'll wait five seconds and see. So right now it's at 68. Let's go ahead and come over here. So 68, I don't even see that. So let's go ahead and reload. See if it's, uh, I guess it's not five seconds yet. But, but we'll give this a, a moment and uh, let's give it a sec. And if it doesn't, let's go ahead and just hit F5 maybe. All right, so let's go ahead. I want to copy this just so I don't lose it. Let's go ahead and copy this. I want to close out my browser. And I'm just going to open up the browser again. Maybe it's just a little wonky. And let's see if it changed. Let's give that a second. Yeah, now we're in the US. All right, so you guys get the gist. It's pretty simple, pretty simple to use. And you can go to your email. So what I did, I went to one of my, you know, bogus accounts. I sent email to, you know, one of my real accounts and in, uh, investigated the headers to make sure, you know, my headers aren't, you know, sent back to my current location, anything that has to do with uh, where I'm at. Just, you know, if I want to be anonymous, I want to anonymize my traffic and stuff like that and send out to, to whatever, from whatever IP address I want, I can do that. So that's pretty much a quick little video on how to change your IP address every five seconds. This is your public IP address on the internet. So let's see if I hit refresh here. Will it re That's weird that it doesn't uh, refresh like automatically. And let's go ahead. I, I wonder if, let's go ahead and go to if config. So this gives me a different IP. So I wanna see if this, maybe it's just the site. So this is showing me 150 and this is showing me 172. So it already changed. Okay, no worries, but you guys get the gist of that. All right, so before we X out of here, we're gonna kill this. All right, so I wanna kill that. And what I wanna do, if I just go out to Google, it's probably gonna be a little wonky, but what I want to do is go ahead and go back to, because I don't want things to run slow and go through proxies and all that stuff. So the last thing to sum it up, we're going to go ahead and go to settings. Let's go back to our network settings. And let's go ahead and use, we can use system settings or you can auto, auto detect. Okay, so that's it for today. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And we should be golden. Thank you so much for viewing and if you have any questions, throw it in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.